It's obvious that models bigger than the print volume cannot be printed as one piece. Basic cuts along the z-axis can be done directly in slicer. This solution is pretty straightforward. Just specify the height at which the model will be cut. You can also choose to rotate the bottom part upside down. After the cut, the newly created model will be automatically placed on the virtual print surface. However, creating complex cuts in Slicer can be challenging, as it's only possible to define the z-height of the plane cut. This may result in unwanted pieces of the model being cut off. We can demonstrate this problem by trying to cut one of Hulk's hands. Slicer uses an infinite plane, so even though the hand did get successfully cut, so did some other pieces, his leg and the stand. Mesh Mixer is a great tool for cutting models into smaller pieces. Let's start with a simple plane cut. Select Edit, Plane Cut. Hold down the left mouse button to define a plane. Change the cut type to Slice, so that no part of the model is discarded, and confirm by hitting the Exit button. The model will still appear as one piece. Select Edit, Separate Shells, to create individual models. Another option is to use the Select tool and specify a smaller area of the model to be affected by the cut. When we apply the plane cut, everything outside of the selection will stay as one piece, despite the plane intersecting the geometry, as you can see in the lower part of Hulk's body. Again, we have to use the separate shells function, otherwise the model will still appear as one piece. Let's talk about aligning pins. Adding them will make it a lot easier to glue the finished parts together. First, open the objects browser and hide one part of the model created by the cut. Next up, open the mesh mix menu and drag a primitive, a cylinder in our case, to the plane created by the cut. A gizmo with an arrow and a sphere will appear. You can scale the primitive by dragging the arrow and you can reposition it by dragging the sphere. Switch the composition mode to create new object and when you're happy with the placement of the primitive, confirm with the accept button. We're gonna have to duplicate the model two times, so that we'll end up with three copies of the primitive. Hide the two new copies in the objects browser. Next, click on Hulk's body and while holding down the shift key, Click on the primitive. A new menu with the boolean difference option will pop up. Untick auto reduce target, tick use intersection curves, and decrease target edge scale. Mesh Mixer will show live preview of these changes. When you click on accept, the primitive will create a hole in the model. Now we just have to repeat the same process with the other half of the model. The boolean difference consumes a copy of the primitive every time we use it. That's why we made the two copies. This way, we'll still end up with one copy of the primitive left for export. Okay, we're done cutting. Now let's just export each of the models as STL. As you can see, because we added the aligning pins, the parts hold together even without any glue. And Hulk! <sighs> Smash!